Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushan Sutish and I'm your trainer for this Power Platform Fundamentals certification course. This is episode number 2 and in this episode we're going to learn about introduction to Power Platform. Let's have a quick look at what are the things we are going to learn on this video. We will learn about the components and features of Power Platform. We will identify when to use each power platform component applications to create your business solutions and we will learn the value of using power platform to create business solution as well so without wasting any more time let's get into it all right so let's start with understanding what is microsoft power platform our platform is comprised of four key products Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and Power Virtual Agents. Then it uses some of the components like AI Builder, Common Data Services, and Data Connectors. This Power Platform is made powerful by its ability to leverage data across many platforms. To do this, components of the Power Platform use connectors. You can think of connectors as a bridge from your data source to your app or workflow which allows information to be conveyed back and forth. Connectors allow you to extend your data solution across platforms and add functionality to your users. So let me explain each of these components in detail. So we will start with Power Apps. So Power Apps provides a rapid low code development environment for building custom apps for business needs it has services connectors and scalable data service and app platform to allow simple integration and interaction with existing data power apps enables the creation of web and mobile application that run on all devices so people use apps for every area of their lives and business should be no exception most out of the box solution does not meet exact business needs or integrate well with other business processes or programs power apps eases users into app development with a simple interface so that every business user or pro developer can build custom apps let's understand what is power automate power automate lets users create automated workflows between applications and services It helps automate repetitive business processes such as communication, data collections and decision approvals. So don't waste important productive hours on drafting the same email for weekly updates or walking approvals. Not only for individual users, Power Automate allows the creation of enterprise grade process automation as well. And Power Automate's simple interface allow every level of user to automate work task from beginners to seasoned developers let's understand what is power bi power bi is a business analytics service that delivers insight for analyzing data it can share those insight through data visualizations which make up reports and dashboards to enable fast informed decisions and power bi scales across an organization and it has a built-in governance and security allowing businesses to focus on using data more than managing it you can consider power bi as an analytics and insight leg of the power platform it takes business data and allows you to display it in ways that can make more sense to the users a power bi dashboard could potentially replace meeting to report out of company metrics such as sales data progress against goals or employee performance and the fourth component is power virtual agents so what is a power virtual agent power virtual agents enables anyone to create powerful chatbots using a guided no code graphical interface without the need for data scientists or developers it minimizes the it effort required to deploy and maintain a custom solution by empowering subject matter expert to build and maintain their own conversational solutions power virtual agents is part of our platform therefore integration into existing system is streamlined 
with out-of-the-box integration with Power Automate and its ecosystems of hundreds of connectors. Users can enable chatbots to perform an action by simply calling a Power Automate flow. Flows help automate activities or call back end systems. Users can utilize existing flows that have been created in their Power Apps environment or they can create a flow within Power Virtual Agents authoring Canvas. Don't worry about any of this. In the future videos, I will take you through each of these components in detail so you understand from a high level point of view what are these features all about. So let us understand what is a common data service. A common data service is a scalable data service and app platform which lets users securely store and manage data from multiple sources and integrate that data in business applications using a common data model to ensure ease of consistency to users. Common data service is the common currency that enables the components of the Power Platform to work together. It's the foundation that enables the consolidation, display, and manipulation of data. So let's understand the data sources for these connectors. In order to understand the types of connectors and what you can do with them, you must first understand the types of data sources to which they connect. The two types of data sources are tabular and function based. So what is a tabular data? A tabular data source is one that returns data in a structured table format. And Power Apps can directly read and display these tables through galleries, forms and other controls. Additionally, if the data source supported, Power Apps can create, edit and delete data from the data sources. These examples include Common Data Service, SharePoint, and SQL Server. So what is a function-based data? A function-based data source is one that uses functions to interact with the data source. These functions can use to return a table of data, but offer more extensive actions such as ability to send an email, update permissions, or create a calendar event. Examples include Office 365 users, Project Online and Azure Blob Storage. So both of these data source types are commonly used to bring data and additional functionality to your solutions. Now that you understand more about data sources, you are ready to learn about connectors. Connectors are the bridges from your data source to your app, workflow or dashboard. The Power Platform has more than 275 connectors available to common data sources. Connectors are divided into standard and premium. Some popular standard connectors are SharePoint, Outlook, and YouTube. Premium connectors require additional licensing for your app or users. A premium connector are SQL Server, SurveyMonkey, and MailChimp. While the Power Platform offers more than 200 connectors, you also have the option to build a custom connector as well. This will allow you to extend your app by calling a publicly available API or a custom API you are hosting in a cloud provider such as Azure. An advantage of building custom connectors is that they can be used in different platforms as well, such as Power Apps, Power Automate, and Azure Logic Apps. Once you have established a data source and configured your connector, there are two types of operations you can use, triggers and actions. So what are triggers? Triggers are only used in Power Automate and prompt a flow to begin. Triggers can be time-based, such as a flow which begins every day at 8 a.m. Or they could be based off an action like creating a new record in a table or receiving an email. You will always need a trigger to tell your workflow when to run. Then what are actions? Actions are used in Power Automate and Power Apps. Actions are prompted by the user or a trigger and allows interaction with your data source by some function. For example, an action would be sending an email to your workflow or an app or writing a new line to your data source. It's super important for us to understand how the security work in terms of Power Apps and Power Automate. So let's understand what are the data loss prevention policies, compliance and privacy which is associated with Power Apps. 
your organization's data is likely one of the most important assets you are responsible for safeguarding as an administrator. You can use Power Apps and Power Automate for rapid build and rollout of these high value assets so users can measure and act on the data in real time. You can create DLP policies that can act as guardrails to help prevent users from unintentionally exposing organizational data. DLP policies can be scoped at the environment level or tenant level, offering flexibility to craft sensitive policies that strike the right balance between protection and productivity. Data as it is in transit between user devices and Microsoft data centers are secured. Connections established between customers and Microsoft data centers are encrypted and all public endpoints are secured using industry standard TLS. What about compliance and privacy? GDPR is one of the newest privacy regulations enacted that gives rights to people to manage their personal data. A complete discussion of GDPR is beyond the scope of this content. However, the Power Platform does fully support the GDPR. And let's look at the accessibility in the Power Platform. One of the things that Microsoft values the most is make sure that the Power Platform is accessible and inclusive for all kinds of users all around the world. An accessible Canvas app will allow users with vision, hearing, and other impairment to successfully use the app. All right, so that concludes the first module. So we learned about the components and the connectors, which is part of the Power Platform. In the next video, we're going to do a quick knowledge check on all the things what we have learned in this video. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.